Hello everyone, welcome. This is going to be a 20 minute class called Swift Up Lift. So this is a class designed to just give you a little boost at whatever point you need during your day and quick and accessible and effective is the idea. So we can get started and let's just come right to the top of the mats. Coming into an equal, balanced standing pose at the top of your mat. Feet together or just slightly spaced. And let your eyes fall closed for a moment. Palms come up to the center of the chest. And you can take a moment here to connect with an intention a feeling or something that motivates your practice. And if it resonates with you, you can join in an OM. One OM. Take an inhale. OM. And then you can let your eyes fall open once again, and bring the arms down. Just start to deepen the breath. And when you're ready with an inhale, bringing the arms up, you can touch the palms together. And on the exhale, lean over to the right hand side, Chandrasana, find the bottom of the breath and then inhale back up to center. Exhale over to the left hand side, Stretch through that right side. Inhale back up to center. And on the exhale, nice and evenly, fold forward. Inhaling, we'll lift the head and the chest for Ardha Uttanasana, reaching. And then on the exhale, we'll step or hop back and lower through Chaturanga Dandasana. You can use your knees here if you need the extra support. Inhaling into Little Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And exhaling back into downward facing dog. We're going to step the right foot in between of the hands, angling that back left foot for Virabhadrasana A. So full stretch through the back leg. Hands could be to the waist or reaching up, maybe even connecting the palms. Take a few breaths here, reaching the body in all directions, filling with the vitality of your breath. And then moving with an exhale, we'll bring the palms down to frame that right foot and step back to lower. Once again, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Little Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale back, Downward Facing Dog. Feel the bottom of that breath and then left foot comes through. Virabhadrasana A, so the right leg is stretching out behind you, lunging into the left. Again, a few breaths here, finding deeper and deeper degrees of balance in your body and within how the breath moves through the body and the felt experience of the whole thing. Again, with an exhale, we can bring the palms down Step back into that plank shape and lower all the way to the bottom of that breath. Inhaling for up dog and exhaling back into downward facing dog. We'll take a few breaths here. Activating the whole body, filling the whole body with that vitality of breath. Working with an ujjayi breath here. So there's some sound and heat related to that breath. Moving with an inhale, take the feet in between the hands, reach through the top of the head, and sit bones can move back behind you. Exhale, fold forward. 
And then inhale to roll all the way back up. Reach. And this time let's lean to the left. Feel if there's anything different from this Chandrasana versus the first. Inhale back up to center. Exhale over to the right. Inhale to center. And exhale to release the arms down beside you. Now, you can space out the feet a little bit if you like here, or leave them together. On the inhale, reach the arms and bend the knees, Utkatasana. So squeezing in towards a felt sense of center here. See if you can really allow the back of the upper body to strengthen here. This is a great pose for that. If you can find that slight degree of pressure in between the palms, you could also just reach the arms up. That might be a better way to access that squeeze at the back. Feeling the power of your legs and how that maybe starts to influence your core, pelvic floor upwards. And then taking an inhale, straightening the legs, reaching, exhaling to release, standing equally and balanced. Now stepping the left foot back, medium length of stride, setting up for trikonasana. So we'll step the left foot back first, you can reach through the arms, and then when you're ready with an exhale, start to lean all of that right side of the body down towards the floor, reaching for the shin or a block, or coming all the way down towards the floor. You could also try reaching the left arm all the way up and over here. That might be a nice way to bring a little more sensation into the left side of the body. So a nice quick pace to this practice, just to give you that quick boost that you may need. And we can come all the way up on an inhale once again. Let's take a bit wider of a stride, same side though. On the exhale, now let's bend into the right knee and we'll bring the left or the right elbow rather down onto the right knee. Left arm can reach up, side angle pose or up and over. So slightly different sensations introduced into that right hip. And also with respect to that left side of the body as it lengthens out, reaching. Good, and then again with an inhale, let's straighten out that right leg, reach through the arms, and then in a way that feels smooth and controlled, let's step the left foot to the top of the mat, finding that center point again. Right foot now steps back, we'll do those same two on the second side. So reaching through the arms, pointing through your left toes, finding the perfect angle through the right toes, and feel spacious in the upper body and arms through that whole journey down towards the floor with the left side. Again, if you like, you can explore reaching the right arm towards the top of your mat. So these home practices that you can do online are a great opportunity for really resting into what feels absolutely best for you. Doing it totally for yourself. And then that transition, let's come up on an inhale, taking that stride just a little bit longer. Exhale, left knee now, bringing the lunge there and resting the elbow onto the thigh, reaching up or up and over. So simple forms, which when we apply them really astutely and with discernment, we can bring a lot of well-being into our whole system, body, breath, mind, and beyond. So these simple forms and shorter practices can be really effective.
Good, feel the bottom of a breath. And then on the inhale, let's come up, reaching through the arms and smoothly stepping back to the top of the mat, landing here in Samastitihi. Once again, let's step the right foot back. Now you're facing towards the side of your mat. Hands can be to the waist. Both sets of toes pointing towards that side of the mat that you're facing. Take an inhale and lift the chest. And let's fold forward with an exhale. You can have some slight bend in the knees here if you need, or start to work to really ground the feet into the floor and straighten the legs. Palms can press into the floor here if you like. Or you may even also want to reach for the outside edges of your feet. See if you can get both sides of the body to activate the same here. So if one side feels a little bit more dominant in its expression, balancing that out. Long, smooth breaths are continuing here. Let's lift halfway on an inhale, palms under the shoulders. Exhale, bringing your hands to the waist. Inhaling all the way up, and at the same time, you can interlace the fingers together behind you, just like this. And then on the exhale, let's fold forward once again. So squeezing the palms together, if possible. You could also use a strap in between the hands. And that same region that we pointed out in Utkatasana, the upper back and shoulders, squeezing a bit there so that as we bring the hands further and further up and over, shoulders are supported. Now let's inhale to come all the way back up, releasing the hands, once again stepping forward to the top of the mat, exhaling. And then once again, let's bring that right foot back again, facing the side of your mat. And we can start with the hands to the waist once again. This time, however, we're going to start to bring the feet out. So the toes point towards the top and the bottom of your mat. So you might just need to experiment a little bit with how wide the feet are to make that feel comfortable and balanced. So you can start here with the hands onto the knees, like so. so. That's a nice way to get the body to get a sense of supporting itself. And if the legs are starting to feel nice and strong, perhaps releasing the palms into Namaskar Mudra at the center of the chest. Or you could even take the fingertips towards the ceiling. So you're making a 90 degree bend in the arms Nice one for the legs, getting the glutes all to activate. Hips and pelvis, getting this nice vitality coursing through it. And then with an exhale, let's lower the fingertips or the palms to the floor. Just bringing the feet in a little bit closer to each other, as close as you like. The heels could even touch. We're leaving some angle within the toes, so they're pointing towards the corners of your mat, squatting. So you could use a block underneath of the sit bones here, if you like as well. Palms compressed together. You could also even explore turning the tips of your fingers down towards the floor. That can feel really nice for the forearms, the undersides of your forearms. And allow yourself to be guided by the pose. So there's an intelligence to the pose that you want to make yourself receptive to. And then to release here, let's just walk the hands towards the top of the mat and we can get ourselves situated into a downward facing dog. And then to really fire up the strength of the upper body, bring that boost into the upper body, we'll take Bakasana, Crow Pose. So the knees can come into your armpits or just onto the triceps, creating a shelf with the backs of your triceps. Allow the arms to bend. 
palms broadly set into the floor and we can start to lean some weight into the palms maybe eventually lifting toes up off the floor nice to approach this posture postures that have a strong element of balancing to them from the aspect of the skeleton so getting all the bones to just stack in a way that's physically stable let's bring the feet down to the floor once again we'll come all the way down with the sit bones to the floor as well legs can stretch out in front of you take an exhale here landing getting yourself situated for a forward fold so you can take an inhale and let's reach up and on the exhale start to fold forward again straps maybe even blocks under the head so they can be onto the fronts of your legs or even a bolster can be nice to support the body with and a nice variation here you can consider is just stretching the fingertips out in front of you so it's a nice way to keep the arms shoulders and core active as you fold forward so maybe you achieve that and then if you like you could then link your hands onto the feet so just introducing subtle variations in how you're engaging the body in again what are maybe very familiar forms you're getting the most then out of these 20 minutes good and then we can roll ourselves back up with an inhale let's lie all the way flat with an exhale and we'll set up for halasana here so option to press the palms into the mat beside your hips and just straighten the legs feet towards the ceiling you could also reach through the fingertips here or come all the way up and over into the full pose toes coming down towards the floor behind you So nice to play with how energy is moving through the body by getting down close to the floor and having a lot of the body above you in the space above you towards the ceiling like you're reversing the polarity and then we can roll back down here all the way down into a short shavasana of course if there's anything that the body is asking for in terms of additional postures if you have a little bit of extra time let the sequence as it was inspire you to make some additional movements if needed empower that ability to home practice and guide yourself And likewise, if you have more time, you might want to stay in Shavasana a little bit longer. And if you are just interested in keeping moving, perhaps you have a busy day ahead of you, you can start to bring yourself out of that brief rest, turning onto one side, take a moment or two there, and then bringing yourself up to a comfortable seat.
take a moment to recognize all that's been stirred up in you, all that's been achieved and stimulated in just that short amount of time by simply closing the eyes and reflecting, just feeling the very basis of your being, the very basis of your conscious experience, how that relates to body, breath, and mind. Palms can come up to the center of the chest. And once again, we'll close with just one OM. Take an inhale. Oh. Namaste. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.